Alleged instigator Bruce Nimehout's bail application has been postponed. He's accused of being behind a voice note sent to a number of people for inciting violence. He and two others are also facing public violence charges. They appeared in court this morning. My colleague, the CNCA reporter Govan Whittles, is outside the Rodiport Magistrates Court. He's been tracking that story for us. Govan, good afternoon. What happened in court this morning? It was a brief appearance by Bruce Namerhout uh, Braden, and this afternoon we have a little bit more information about the person that the NPA says is one of the instigators of the arrest, unrest that we saw last week. But according to his political party, the Patriotic Alliance, Bruce Namerhout is being intimidated and is being targeted. So the NPA is not giving much information, and all of this centers around a voice note which was sent out allegedly inciting people to cause public violence during the week when there was unrest in KwaZulu-Natal and in Johannesburg. And Bruce Nimmerhout is accused of trying to incite violence on the West Rand in Ruedepoort, uh, Randfontein, as well as the surrounding areas. But let's hear from his party now, uh, the Patriotic Alliance. And with me I have Ashley Sauls. He's a member of the Johannesburg Council for the PA. Mr. Sauls, you were also there when Bruce was arrested at 2 a.m. Um, let's just begin by saying what the PA believes believes is going on here and how that arrest happened. Well, firstly, we must say that law enforcement uh, has been irresponsible in how they are handling this case. They have, as we all know, they have made public his personal information. They've made public where he stays. They've, and that obviously puts his family in harm's way as it stands now. So uh, all around, uh, law enforcement has not treated uh, leader Bruce properly. The, firstly, they arrested him apartheid style. They walked into his house. They had no warrant, uh, uh, no search warrant. They, they, they took all the family's phones and, uh, and uh, then, of course, arrested, arrested Bruce on false charges. We must state publicly, this is false charges. He was wrongfully arrested. Uh, there is no such thing. And then they were boastfully putting on all uh, social media platforms that they actually were so efficient and traced back the actual voice note to his phone, which then implies that, he, that, that it or originated with him, which again is a lie. We know now facts that that voice note did not originate from leader Bruce. What further saddens me is we come to the court. Uh, it, is, it breaks me so much. In El Dorado Park, as we know, that uh, Nathaniel Julius was brutally killed and shot. Uh, but when the suspects was heard in court that brutally killed and shot a Down syndrome child, they didn't come into the court with chains around their, their legs. Bruce Numrod, a leader of note in his community, someone that sacrifices his life to build and not destroy his community, walks in court today with chains on his legs. I just want to come in there because you've made an important point. And yeah. The voice note has been circulated and uh, the police allege that that is Bruce Nimmerhout's voice inciting people yes. to go and block the roads, the N14, the R28 yes. and the main reef road. Yes. From the PA's position, you believe that's not his voice? No, let's clarify the wording used there. Not from the PA's position and we believe. No, it is a fact which even law enforcement knows. It is not a political party now that says no because he's our leader we don't believe that that's his voice note. No, it is factual that what they, the voice note that they claim is the voice of leader Nimrod is not true. But I want to put this graphic picture once again before uh, uh, you ask me the second question. I want to put it in the minds of South Africans that they took an innocent man. They took a man who is an upstanding citizen in this country. And when we compare that to people who actually shot a Down syndrome child, they make him walk in like a slave into to the courtroom with chains around his legs. That is how good people in this country is being treated. In apartheid, in apartheid, uh, uh, what was done is inhumane and it was illegal. Not everything legal is right. So let, process, me just, let me just come yeah. in once again. So you're saying that's not Bruce Nimmerhout's voice inciting people Correct. to cause public violence. Yes. What does the PA believe is happening here? We believe that this is political. Clearly, if you look at everywhere where the, PA has, where the PA is governing, when the whole country was looting, the PA showed leadership. 
Everywhere where the PA is governing across this country, uh, there was peace and the community came out and looked after the infrastructure. There was no looting. Okay, I'll have to come in there because we are out of time, but the PA did go and protect the El Dorado Park Mall and that what I believe uh, Ashley Souls is pointing to there. For now, Brad Dan, it's back to you, but certainly some new information coming from this interview from a representative of the Patriotic Alliance. And I'm sure you'll bring us an update later on, Govan Whittles. Thank you very much outside the Rodeport Magistrates Court. Now